role for Wired by the Spoonful is the assistant projections designer and the head audio engineer for the show. The show is about uh, personal connection, connections with family members, friends, and even people you've never physically met before. Right now, we have four projectors set up um, so that they project in four different corners of the projection surface. And then we have two DL2s, which are moving head projectors that are out in the front of house projecting onto the screen as well. So we're doing both rear projection with the four projectors and then we're doing um, full screen front projection with our two DL2s. The way that setup came about was actually something that came about before I was assigned to the show as the designer. Um, it was a setup spec'd by Dunaway Designs and former alum, well, alum, Nicholas Spencer. It gives us a service to show what we believe the internet looks like on the inside. Not necessarily the ones and zeros, that's the matrix, but um, what, how we visualize the internet and how we want our audience to see the world in which some of our characters reside in. It all starts with the script. It all starts with um, pouring through the script. I knew since um, the season was announced, this was a project that I definitely wanted to work on. And I had already had some conceptions of what I thought the show would look like and how it would feel like. We're not doing all of those ideas, but I like to think that we're definitely honoring the playwright's work. Um, chat icons, uh, the internet itself. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but you'll also get to see, um, with any luck, a beautiful stained glass crucifix. You need two things. First, you have to want it. Second, you have to be able to say, I really want to do this to your mentors and tell them that I would like to learn this piece of technology. Can you help me? Um, we've had this, the media servers that we're using in the show, one of them is a rented one, and one of them is one we've owned for at least two or three years now. And very few people have used it because not everyone knows we have the technology. Um, but I think that after this show, a lot of people will just see what these media servers can do. And I think it'll inspire a lot of students to want to learn something new. I think my greatest difficulty was learning how to be an assistant. Because up until now, all the design work I've done here has been um, my own. It's been, I've been the lead designer for most of the things I've worked on. It's been very challenging to step down and collaborate with someone where I have a superior, a superior designer. Um, not to say it's not been a great experience, it's been a very good learning experience because going out into the real world, chances are I'm going to be someone's third assistant or something like that. So it's, it's been a great experience in that regard. The thing that I'm most proud of with this show is the fact that I get to tell a story that isn't specific necessarily only to people of color, but it spotlights people of color, and that's been very important to me over the last several years, and it's going to be important to me over the next decade or two, for sure. It's going to be a great production. It will knock the socks off of a lot of people, and I think that if you're not a theater person, you should come see this show. If you are a theater person, you're gonna come see this show and you're gonna love it. But I think everyone's going to find something that they can really enjoy in this piece of art. Come see Water by the Spoonful at the University Theater on Western Michigan University campus. We open February 10th and it's gonna be a great show. Thank you.